I was watching so, an interview with you, Jude, and you were saying you had to leave New York because you had to get away from the drugs. And you were you oh were, man, they had a. Uh, I, I think the guy. This guy's now retired. I think he's retired like a millionaire. Um, they had they had this drug dealer where you just you call a number. Hey, uh, can you come by? Some guy shows up with a metal briefcase and a a menu. <laughs> you just order off the menu, and then it was if you if you bought a certain amount, you get a discount. And then the crazy, this is how crazy they were doing it. If you if you bought over two hundred bucks, there was a twenty sided dice like Dungeons and Dragons style, <laughs> and you call you call a number. If you hit your number, you'll get twenty bucks more worth of uh, free drugs. <laughs> like, it was crazy. That's that's how drug dealing should be. I I've I've long said that. I think drug dealers are doing things wrong, man. They're so sketchy. Why? It's so hard to find a good drug dealer around anywhere. Make and it fun, exciting. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the way to do it. Be a pro. I, I, I feel like there's not enough professional drug dealers out there. Uh, I couldn't agree with you more. You know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> as a functioning addict, I would, um, I would, I would, just them being on time means so much to me. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's ever really done drugs like knows exactly what you're talking like about. A professional. I got stuff to do. Just simply like, abiding by a schedule. Guys? It's amazing. You'd yeah. be like, yeah, man, I'll be there in three minutes. I'm literally at the end of your street. It's like four hours later. You're like, motherfucker, what's going on here? Right now, yeah, yeah, I'm right there, bro. Yeah, I'm right around the corner, man. Yeah, I'm right there. I'm on my way, bro. <laughs> like, come on, man. Dude, you just described yourself as a functioning addict. Are you okay? I mean, I, I read this book. Jay's like, worried about you. Dang, man. <laughs> I'm worried about Jude. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. No, it's, it's tough. It's a, it's a tough read for, like, a lot of my, a lot of uh, relatives, close friends and stuff like that. Like, they can't even get through the book because it's, it's super vulnerable and there's a, you know, there's a lot of pain in there. But, um, look, man, I'm here talking to you. I, yeah. I, I made it up at 7 in the morning on, on yeah. my side, so. And you got a daily uh, show. You got a daily show yeah, on good. Sirius Radio. And you guys know, and if anybody knows what it is to do a daily show, it's, you know. It's a grind. It is. So, like, you've got to be on your P's and Q's. Uh, and that's why I say functioning. And, like, yeah. Yeah, but you don't. You're not sober, are you? Are you like clean no. now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. So I mean, like, what does your regular day look like? Will you start with some G and go get some cat or what? Like, how does it go? No, I, I start with some coffee. I start with coffee. <laughs> like the rest of us. I hop yeah. on Instagram live. I talk to. I talk to. Uh, I talk to people. I I go in. I prep for the show. Lately, I've been doing uh, uh, podcasts and radio shows like yours mm -hmm. um, in the morning, and then I go and do my show come back if i don't have another podcast or something to do that's when i just let loose out then i'll like uh like the other night it started with like i drank some ghb went for a walk went and had dinner my homeboy bailed i ended up calling up some more kids and then they they went off they went on like some coke fuel bender i don't mess around with that stuff but then so now i'm running around with them and then we're at the strip club and Yo, the strip club on a buzz is a bad move because I now I'm like just throwing money at strippers. <laughs> and we ended up at some tiki bar, and I was like super mad because I'm looking at it right now. I still got a, still got like fifty ones I really wanted to put on top of some strippers' heads. I was like, <laughs> if yeah. I would have just gave them forty more ones, I might have been able to sleep with one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah exactly. That. That what was is, my Tuesday. 